Russia with claws and fangs. This is the kind of image being taught to some students in the Netherlands. In one Dutch social studies textbook, pupils were asked to describe what's happening in a particular cartoon. And the image ultimately shows Russia portrayed uh, like a monster here devouring Ukraine while Europe offers a helping hand. Another image in the same textbook also characterized Russia as a uh, non-free country, while the EU and the US were pictured uh, as the most free. Now, the images in the textbook went viral after one angry father shared it online, and we had a chance to speak with him. Since the end of the Second World War, anti-Russian propaganda in the Netherlands has been huge. Since the fall of the so-called Iron Curtain, it has shrunk a little. All Dutch news media share the same anti-Putin, anti-Russia, anti-communist bias, as if Russia was still a communist country today. The evil Russia images triggered strong reactions online. Some complain the propaganda is so blunt that even, well, the most gullible people think it's suspicious. Others suggested that anti-Russian propaganda in European textbooks is nothing new. Some parents were also concerned that this kind of material could become widespread. Uh, we spoke to activist Ancilla Tilia. I think it's definitely a way of uh, demonizing uh, Russia in this uh, conflict, which is not at all a uh, nuanced uh, view whatsoever. The picture that was shown with the world map, uh, which was colors, uh, green being the most free countries and red uh, being the most unfree countries in the world, I think is highly, highly biased from a Western uh, standpoint. In my personal opinion, it is absolutely propaganda, uh, anti-Russian propaganda, um, which is uh, ironic because Russia is often uh, accused of spewing propaganda, but it seems like we're not able to recognize that we ourselves are also being propagandized by our own uh, governments, by our own media. And um, I think it's a, it's a dangerous uh, road we're heading, uh, we're heading towards.